Do you know what five seconds feels like? It feels like your whole life passing in a single breath. Slow down and take a breath to relive those five seconds. Take a breath to pause and think. Take a breath to love in a different way. Take a breath to let go of things. Take a breath to learn something new. Take a breath to unlearn. Take a breath to change your ways. Because all it takes is five seconds to break the chain. An initiative by Taiwan Excellence for a healthy world. Distinguished guests, our media friends and the gentlemen and ladies, good afternoon, welcome to today's press conference. As countries race to fight against the COVID-19 outbreak, the healthcare industry also works hard on manufacturing and technology research. Today, we invite seven companies to present their products online. Viewers can submit questions during the session. We have also arranged various medical and prevention products on display during the event. First, I would like to invite Mr. C.C. Chen, Director General of Bureau of Foreign Trade, to give us some opening remarks. Let's welcome Mr. C.C. Chen. Uh, Walter, uh, Secretary General of the TITRA, and also all the company executives, ladies and gentlemen, and friends from the media, welcome to this uh, media conference. Taiwan Excellence is a project sponsored by my bureau and TITRA. TITRA is the most important and foremost and the largest trade promotion body of Taiwan. We jointly sponsor this program to promote the best product of Taiwan. Now we are in the, under the threat of the COVID-19. This virus respects no border, respects no authorities, respects no persons. It affects everyone. So we on this planet, we must work together to fight COVID-19. Taiwan has done a very good job and it's very much praised worldwide for our effort in containing the COVID-19 virus. Other countries trying to flatten the curve, try to get back to resume their economic activities. While we like to say Taiwan can help and Taiwan is helping, I want to add trade can help and must use trade to help the world. This virus is so contagious, we must use the trade to help others to get the best product of pandemic prevention products in order to fight COVID-19. So we jointly with TITRA is recommending and promoting and introducing the best product of Taiwan to help the globe to fight COVID-19. Among all the products we are recommending to you, we like the special dimension syntax. This company is not only excellent in producing a good product to fight virus. They are using environmental friendly coffee young to make the face mask today for this specialty for this conference. So we are here to welcome you, to introduce you, to join today working with us via trade to fight COVID-19. And in the meantime, we'd like to launch the uh, pandemic fighting pavilion. It's a virtual online pavilion for everyone to observe and to scout around to find the best product. Let's join to the fight COVID-19 and get our economy, economy back to on its feet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Please be seated. Next, I would like to invite Mr. Walter Ye, President and CEO of Taiwan External Trade Development Council, to say a few words. Let's welcome Mr. Walter Ye.
Good afternoon, everyone. Director General of Bureau of Foreign Trade, Xi Xi Chen. Uh, thank you all for joining, for being here today for this online event. It is a great pleasure to welcome you all for, from different countries around the world. And we are very happy to work together with our Taiwan Excellence companies to have this presentation and show uh, this afternoon. We have seven companies who will present their latest product and solution. And we also have uh, 15 companies uh, on display here at this, this room. Taiwan companies were quick to assemble national teams from the machinery and textile industries to manufacture face masks and medical guns. And more recently, a national team was mobilized to produce ventilators. And now we are able to provide assistance to other countries by sending them face masks and medicine. On top of this, National Chenggong University Hosp Hospital recently shared their know-how and experience in combating the pan pandemic with 14,000 Indian medical doctors and staff online. With Titra's help, such actions has helped to facilitate even greater international uh, interaction and collaboration between Taiwan and India. Taiwan has the experience, resources, and know-how to fight COVID-19 effectively. And we are glad to be able to share share them with the world. And we hope we can uh, work together with more com countries to share our experience. Today, Taiwan Excellence is introducing its medical healthcare virtual pavilion, where the actual it exhibits tools, demonstrations, and inquiries can be seen online serving as a new marketing strategy. While combating the pandemic, our pavilion severs the boundaries of time and space, and even the rules of social distancing. Buyers and exhibitors from along, around the world can easily interact with their desired products or companies with a few taps and swipes. And we are glad to have seven presenters coming here. And also on the virtual pavilion, a total of 42 medical products are on display. These 42 products are all Taiwan Excellence. Taiwan Excellence is the best made in Taiwan and the choice of innovation. They are the government project from the Bureau of Foreign Trade. Uh, just Director General Chen just mentioned. That is a very important project to enhance the Taiwan's image. And of course, uh, at this point, medical and also anti uh, medical industry is very important to introduce to the world. So today we have so many uh, company leaders from the industry to introduce their latest pr products and solutions. In the face of the, our seven presenters today, we will uh, exhibit Taiwan's pandemic prevention product ecosystem. Uh, the products that we will introduce include face masks, surgical clothing, test kits, and vaccines flow therapy, and smart medical systems. Before I finish, I would like to thank everyone once again for joining here online today. And thank you very much. And thank you, Director General Chen, for joining this important event to introduce Taiwan's uh, uh, ecosystem to the world. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Ye. And please remain on the stage. Uh, Mr. Ye, please remain on the stage for the first round of photo. Uh, I would like to invite the Mr. Cici Chen. Would you mind just uh, uh, go to the front and uh, all the speakers today to come to the front for the group photo, the first round of group photo. 来，我们请今天的这个简报的这个厂商代表，我们一起到台前哦，来照，来照团体纪念照，来。来，我们请到台前。好 ，So let's look at the in front of the camera in front of you. Just look the center of the camera in front of you. 我们看向中间哈。好，接着我们可别看向右侧。Look at your right side. Then your left side. 现在我们看向左侧哈。好，我们现在看左侧。好，我们再回到中间。Let's go back to the center. Now, I would like to invite all of the company representatives to come to the front to have a group of photo together. 呃，现在我来邀请今天现场所有的厂商代表，我们一起到前面来，跟我们一起照团体照，好吗？我们请厂商代表到舞台前面。The all of the company representatives please come to the front. Let's take a photograph together. We today, the audience came from many companies, all are protection products companies, to let us take a photograph as a group. Let's 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 take a photograph as a group. 好，我们接着看向右侧，好吗 ？Look at your right side. Then your left side. 来，我们看向左侧。好，现在我们再回到前方。Thank you, thank you very much. 谢谢，我们谢谢现场的贵宾长官跟各位呃媒体朋友们，谢谢您。那我们在外侧哦，国内的媒体如果要联访的话，我们的陈局长跟叶秘书长会在贵宾厅的外侧接受各位的联访。我们可以在外侧，就是贵宾厅的外侧来进行。接下来，我们场内要进行的是厂商的简报。Next, we are moving on to the presentations. During this session, please feel free to submit your questions. Using the QA link on the screen, we will collect all questions and invite the speakers to answer during our QA session after all presentations are given. Now we are pleased to have Cherry Wen, manager of Madeland Enterprise Corporation, to talk about the Hyperlite disinfection robot, which provides excellent germicide, germicidal efficiency. Let's welcome Miss Wen. Okay. Good afternoon and good morning. Outside of Taiwan, and my name is Cherry Wen, International Sales Manager of Medilan Enterprise Corporations. It's my honor to be here to represent, uh, present Hyperlite disinfection robot, and how it is a solution to helping the world dealing with COVID-19. Okay. Okay. Firstly, please allow me to introduce Medilan. Medilan is a leading brand of operation room equipment and UVC disinfections. Expert. Over the years, we have in the last 35 years, we have uh, successfully distributed our product operation table, surgical light, OR integration systems, and disinfection robot solutions globally. And many of our products have been recognized and award with Taiwan Excellence. And in the last three, four, uh, in the last decade, a lot of uh, hospitals coming to us asking for a solution, helping for uh, the hospital to improve the hospital associated infections. So this is why we developed uh, disinfection systems. This is help to reduce the HAIs, hospital associated infections, and also increase the quality of a healthcare environment. So before the COVID-19, we already have uh, hyperlights in place to help the hospitals to provide a safer and cleaner environment for patients, that the uh, infections could cause prolonged hospital stays and also potential deaths. 
So uh, we have introduced this product right before the COVID-19. And since the beginning of 2020, of the COVID-19, the, the threat is not only to the patients, but also the healthcare workers' stuff. So this is protecting healthcare workers' stuff from infection risk. So what, there are so many UVC products in the, in the market. How, what, how is different to the others? So there are the three core technologies of hyperlights that differentiate us to the others. So first is the UVC germicidal wavelengths. It's 250 nanometers, and it's most effective germicidal uh, wavelengths to kill the pathogens and damaging the bonds between the nucleotides and inhibiting the RNA and, and DNA replications. And the second is the Amangon UVC lamp. The high power density of UVC output is able to disinfect the area within five minutes and for five meters radius range. And after, and it creates no ozone, so after the operations, we can enter the room straight away without risk of um, any toxic gas. And the uh, last 12,000 hours of lamp life is able to 12,000 is providing a low cost maintenance after installations. So the average use of hyperlight is around five to 10 years of using. So the last core technology of hyperlight is the uh, high reflective and rotational reflectors. Each of the reflectors is coated with reflectively coating leads to raise UVC energy and coverage and keeps the UVC output and at a continuously high level to see, speed out the disinfection process. So this is why um, hyperlight could disinfect the area within five minutes in five meters radius irradiation. So it is clinical proven efficacy with clinical report available, able to kill 99.99% to 99.99% of bacteria, fungus, and virus. So um, before the COVID-19, we already successfully installed our products across the globe and after uh, the, uh, since the beginning of 2020, many we have associated across five continents, all the way like to uh, Namibia, Africa, so, uh, Latin America, Ecuador, and many other countries globally to help the hospital uh, fighting against COVID-19. And there's, there's also study proven that the coronavirus could stay on the surface up to nine days. So the potential risk is not only to the hospitals and also a lot of uh, countries and cities are struggling with the challenge of having resumed their life back after the lockdown, lockdowns. So there's also a consideration of having hyperlights in nursing homes, clinics, supermarkets, and kindergarten hotels that helps the, the general public to resume their life back after the, uh, the outbreak. So just let me quickly recap how hyperlight could help. It is effective, uh, clinical proven, and it's very fast that you can disinfect the area within five minutes to 10 minutes of time. And it is already CE and ETO mark that's ready uh, for uh, distribute globally. And it, is, it has implemented many safety features that to prevent the, um, the users using the hyperlight uh, that uh, has any exposure risk to, to UVC. So if you have any questions, please feel free to scan the barcode on the screen and contact me directly or any of our staff. And you can also see many of our um, activities on the, um, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wen. So next, please allow me to introduce Ms. Crystal Hong, manager of Great Group Medical Company. She will present the respiratory device that can be used to help treat patients suffering from COVID-19. Um, dear media friends and um, friends online, I'm Crystal Hong from GGM, and we are the expert of humidification and filtration focusing in respiratory care. So our product includes high flow therapy system and humidifier that are used on every ventilators and also um, the filtration systems for preventing the virus and bacteria to flow over the room air. And also we provide the um, breathing circuits that um, delivers ventilator gas. And Great Group Medical is um, established since 1996. So in the past tw two decades, we are working, focusing in 
um, curing the patients in ICU for ventilation. And um, we are now selling over 75 countries and the, the major market is in Europe and Asia. So today I'm going to focus in humidal flow, which is the high flow therapy system, and let you know how the high flow therapy system could help to fight with the COVID-19. The high flow therapy system is a combination of high flow oxygen, which is up to 70 liters, and a humidificator that heats and humidifies the um, room air for, for the patients that has a lung um, disease. And it is bring to the patients with a broad nasal cannula. And so with this kind of therapy, it is a new era for respiratory care because in the traditional facial mask, the patients will be uh, very uncomfortable because they cannot talk, cannot eat during the therapy. And if they wanted to do social interactions, they have to st stop the, the therapy and the saturation will get down. So the high flow therapy is a device that meanwhile it could maintain the patient's dignity and also it is a very efficient delivery system for respiratory um, required patient. And also research shows that an early application for high flow therapy system can pre prevent a over 10% of unnecessary intubation. And we all know that um, intubation is a very uncomfortable um, therapy for all kinds of patients. So if we could prevent this kind of therapy, then it will be a good solution for all the patients. So this is a clinical application for high flow therapy. It is commonly used on all kinds of respiratory um, diseases, including acute hypoxemic respiratory failure, which is often seen in COVID-19 symptoms. And so um, let's look into how COVID-19 are cured in respiratory care. So from the uh, most mild to the most acute phases, they will be using oxygen support and then humidal flow, which is the high flow therapy system, and then to ventilators, that's which we are known with invasive and non-invasive. So um, in many countries like in Europe and USA, the guideline shows that um, HFNC, which is humidal flow, which is the um, high flow therapy system, are recognized to be used for mild and moder moderate patients in COVID-19. So you can see this is the pyramid of the acute phases of COVID-19 patients. And um, there are many researches shows that if the patients that goes into acute phases, which is around like 15% of the patients, they will have over 58% of higher vital rate. So the prevention of getting into ventilator is a very critical point, and the humidal flow can help to prevent this kind of um, therapy to happen. So I'm going back to a take back message for the comparison of HFOT and traditional ventilation. HFOT is a very easy, comfortable, and um, very effective way for respiratory care. And it could decrease a lot of in unnecessary intubation, and also the infection rate could be lower. So this is the um, way that we could help the patients from getting into ventilation and they can be cured earlier and they can be getting better soon. So this is what um, our devices are used in the COVID-19 and uh, we believe that the device could help and also Taiwan could help. So thank you for your listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hong. 
And next, we are going to invite Justin Zhang, sales representative of Apex Medical Corporation, to introduce their air mattress products, which is able to reduce pulmonary complications and provides great assistance to caregivers. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm Justin Chan from Apex Medical Corporation. The topic today is healthcare, healthcare solutions in wound management and respiratory therapy. Apex, uh, I'm, uh, it's my great pleasure to share with you Apex experience about how we support medical staff to fight against COVID-19. COVID-19 is a kind of pneumonia, and this is the reason why people naturally pay more attention on respiratory uh, patients' respiration. However, pressure injury is a silent enemy, which is neglected sometimes. Many patients of COVID-19 are bedridden. This is, one of the, this is one of the major factors to have pressure injury. Besides, among the bedridden patients, some of them are uh, the elder, some of them are stroke patients, some of them are uh, some, of, some of them are with diabetes. They, they all have higher risk to have pressure injury. Therefore, when medical staff are doing uh, treatment for, for preventing the respiratory symptoms of the patients, Apex, Apex Medical Air Mattress is helping, them, is helping them to minimize the risk of pressure injury. For instance, some hospitals in France as you can see on the picture of your left hand side. Some hospitals in China, as you can see on the picture of your right hand side. Some pictures, uh, some hospitals in Italy, in the middle, uh, in, the, in the picture of the middle. And et cetera, are using our measures to support the patients. In addition to the prevention of pressure injury, there's one special feature of our mattress, automatically continuous lateral turning. That is SES turn. Its lateral turning function reduces the loading of medical staff's routine work of positioning for lung drainage, for lung drainage to treat pleural infusion, which is a kind of common symptom of a pneumonia patient. Please allow me to emphasize how important it is to prevent pressure injury. The actor, Christopher Reeve, known as Superman, passed away due to the sepsis caused by pressure injury after, be, uh, uh, after an accident. Pressure injury is a secondary disease, but should never be neglected. As we know that, Severe cases of COVID-19 need to use ventilators, and most of them are immobile on beds. Medical staff has to do positioning to, uh, for lung drainage to treat pleural infusion. Actually, it is a time and energy consuming job for them. Sometimes they need, to, sometimes they need two persons to do the positioning if the patient is heavy. In such cases, Apex Medical Air Mattress, like SSN, can help and is helping. There are, th there are three key features as below. Firstly, automatically continuous lateral turning up to, by up to 40 degrees, which is, auto uh, which is adjustable. Secondly, space for drainage tubing or other necessary tubing. Thirdly, extremely low pressure supporting the patient away from the pressure injury. Apex Medical Corporation was founded in 1990 and its headquarters located in Taiwan. R&D and manufacturing are in Taiwan, China, and Germany. There are nine subsidiaries in Asia, Europe, and North America. CE, FDA, and local certificates are ready. Besides the SSN I just introduced, these are the various series of Apex medical air matrices, which can fulfill both uh, hospital channels and home care use. 
Respiratory therapy is one of Apex product lines that includes CIPA machine and its mask, suction, and nebulizer. Apex can help, and Apex is helping. Please take care in this difficult period of COVID-19. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zhang. As a kind of reminder, and um, please use the link on the screen to leave your questions, and we will answer them at the Q&A session. Now, we are going to invite Wilson Zhang, manager of Taiwan Stench, to talk about the latest UV protection medical face mask, which provides anti-UV and medical protection at the same time. Let's welcome Mr. Zhang. Hi. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, present our, our company's products. Uh, Taiwan Stash has been in, a, in the medical business for over 40 years. It's a family-run business. And um, we, started the, um, we started our production with um, cold and hot packs, but now we've moved into uh, 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 surgical masks and other protective equipment. And with our... Um, our masks, um, the main focus for our production is that we produce our masks in a clean room environment, in an ISO class 7, 10,000 uh, clean room environment. The reason why we focus on this uh, part is um, during the supply chain, there are many um, um, stages where raw materials come in. And um, whether they're clean or not, we don't know. So. Um, when we produce it in a, in a clean room environment, uh, we have the opportunity to make sure that uh, the products that come out are clean in a sense that are, um, they, are, 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 they are free from any um, particles or dirt particles or any other um, uh, bacteria because we also, during, during the, the, the clean room process, the production process, pre-production process, we sterilize our clean rooms for 15 minutes under UV lighting. Um, so to, just to ensure that all our products, materials are all clean and, um, and, uh, and, and free from any uh, foreign debris, so that when the user uses the masks, they're expecting a clean mask to be used on their faces rather than something that are half, half uh, dirty or, or, or with, with some bacteria or something. But um, that's, uh, that's why we produce our masks in a clean room, whether, uh, where most manufacturers don't do that. They produce it in just a general manufacturing uh, environment. Um, so in a clean room, we have also um, our just the basic, you have the air showers and you have the, the, the hand dryers and the gowns that you need to wear to protect yourselves and to protect the, the products and the materials. So as I mentioned, the, the rooms are uh, sterilized for 15 minutes before production and after, during, throughout the night uh, when uh, production has, has completed to ensure that uh, there's no bacteria for the next uh, production that's coming in. Um, aside, we... With this new pandemic and COVID-19, um, what has happened is the, the, the wearing of masks has become a new lifestyle. Um, before, it was only Asia, Taiwan, Japan, uh, Hong Kong, that were mainly wearing masks for just their daily uh, life. life. Uh, but now it's become a, a lifestyle where uh, every user, every person in the world is wearing the masks. So to ensure that we reach out to all cultural backgrounds, whether they're Chinese, uh, Japanese, Koreans, or, or Americans, or anywhere in the world, we ensure that uh, we provide them a whole product line that uh, can fit their cultural lifestyle and, their, and, and, and just ensure that it fits with their, with, with their, with their, with their life. Uh, habits. So um, we have also the anti-UV uh, UPF up to 50, 50 uh, UPF proof. 
Uh, this mask has a four layer and it protects against UV uh, lighting from the sun to ensure for, for users who have uh, sensitive skins and require further um, sun protection. Um, all our masks have been certified and have been tested against um, different international levels, whether with the FDA, whether with the C standards and Taiwan CNS standards. They all, and Japanese uh, GIS standards, they all have been tested through thoroughly and passed. Uh, so we offer masks from level one to level two. Um, we are working on level three at the moment, but uh, we still have to get our, our standards and, and tests passed. Um, as mentioned, this is ASTM uh, 2100, it's from the US. Um, as I mentioned, we have a whole series of, uh, of different masks to reach out to, to different uh, cultural backgrounds. We have the kids' masks, we have carbon masks, we have uh, PM 2.5 masks, fragrance masks uh, for people who don't like to wear masks, but we add a little bit of a, a fragrance to it to, to encourage them to make it easier and uh, more, more relaxing to wear a mask. Also, the pollution mask, anti-pollution anti mask, uh, PM 2.5, the with uh, with a lot of uh, pollution happening everywhere, it's a mask that helps uh, protect us. Also, the N95, um, it's it's not as um, robust as the as the 3M N95. It's more it's it's breathable, but it meets all the standards uh, needed for N95. Uh, kids face masks uh, to encourage kids to wear. We have different designs, different patterns, and they all meet the same standards as the, as the surgical medical masks. And we have this uh, new uh, masks too from, uh, that were designed in Japan. Um, they're foam masks and they are, they've become a, a new a lifestyle mask or a fashion style type of mask that uh, a lot of people in Taiwan and uh, Japan and Korea, they wear as a, as a way to, uh, as a fashion statement also. Uh, many many um, movie stars, or, or, or they wear them just to cover and protect themselves, to set themselves apart from the public for not to be recognized. And just in general, everyone's using it as a, as a, as a fashion statement. So, and for, the, for this kind of mask, we also uh, been supplying a lot to Saudi Arabia because the women there need to protect their face from, uh, because of the Muslim culture. So uh, instead of using a new cap in the hospitals, they use these masks to, um, to cover their, their faces during, uh, during, during, during um, their sessions with the uh, doctors in the hospitals. Uh, this is about it. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, if you have any more questions, please uh, bring them up during Q&A session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zhang. Thank you for your sharing. Talking about medical pandemic prevention, we should never neglect detection reagent. Now, we are going to invite Mr. Leo Li, Executive Vice President of Medellin Vaccine Biologics Group. He is going to present the latest RT-PCR product. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's my honor here today to introduce our uh, company's new product, SARS-CoV-2 qPCR testing kit. Uh, we are from the Medellin Basin Biologic Corporations. Actually, we are we established in year 2012, and we have a, a PIX GMP certificate plant in Xinzhou County. And majority of our product actually uh, is vaccine. So that's you. So that's why you can see that our product pipeline is uh, for SARS-CoV-19, for EV71, dengue, and influenza vaccine. But due to this COVID-19 pandemic issue is too severe. So in early, early February, our company uh, began to develop our uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 qPCR kit in order for the medical expertise to identify this virus. So after around two, two months, we developed, we launched this, uh, this SARS-CoV-2 qPCR testing kit. Uh, for this, the, 
the, this testing kit, we target in the new coronavirus for OIF1, AB gene and N gene. And this testing kit can compatible for the uh, current uh, commercialized widely used PCR machine like Roche, ABI, and the Cryogene. For the uh, how to identify the tested uh, sample RB positive, so we will evaluate the, 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 the CT value. If for the OIF1 uh, AB gene, if the CT value is smaller or, or, or equal to 39, then we will mark it as a positive. For the N gene, if the CT value equal or smaller than 40, we will mark positive as well. Uh, no matter OIF1 gene, OIF1 AB or N gene, Mark positive, we will say that this test is simple will, will, will be the SARS-CoV-2 positive. For both genes are negative uh, result, then we will say this test is simple will be SARS-CoV-2 negative. So it's easy for the medical expertise to quickly identify uh, which patient suffers a uh, new coronavirus, which is not. We, we already uh, got the CE self declaration, and you can see that here's our, our, our serious numbers. Uh, we got this certification on April 23rd. This testing kit also be tested in uh, its uh, clinical evaluation and uh, uh, confirmation by the, in Taiwan by Chang'eng University, and also as well in the uh, US for the Temple University. So, the, the reports showing that this product is very good. So the future for this product is, the first one is the fast. We only spend around 18 minutes and we can generate result uh, to help the medical uh, expertise uh, for, for, for them to know the result. For the specificity, it, the, the data showing that there is uh, no any cross reaction with the other uh, pathogens. For sensitivity, the, the data is quite good. It's only 10 copies per reaction. For the quality, this product is made in Taiwan and also QC by our uh, company. So the quality is, of course, is very good. And finally, for the compatible, uh, it will be used widely uh, for Roche, ABI, and the cryogen machine. So the conclusion is that the, the product is easy, hand-on, easy to use, and it's had an excellent performance with multiple laboratory valid and have a very high sensitivity and the specificity. It can be used widely in the currently uh, commercial machine. And finally, we got a C declaration. And I would like to share with you that last week, we also got a Taiwan EUA certification as well. So this is my presentation today. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Next, Mr. Zhong Zhuang from Anzix. Healthcare. He's going to introduce the mobile telemedicine workstation, the smart healthcare solution that can monitor and manage all hardware devices at the hospital to improve efficiency. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, friends from the industry and media. Um, it's, it's an honor being here, and uh, thanks for uh, Bureau of Foreign Trade and also uh, Taiwan External Trade Development Council for inviting us here. So for us to have a unique opportunity to present our solution to you. So as a FDS registered company, uh, Onyx Healthcare has been 100% focused on servicing healthcare industry for 20 plus years. And today we'll be sharing our, uh, some of our observation and experiences in the telemedicine solution. So uh, just a little bit about ourselves. So uh, as a ISO 13485 certified manufacturer for custom-built medical computing device, so we have been providing a full range of uh, custom-built embedded motherboard, a medical-grade panel PC, tablet, uh, I, uh, AI, IoT gateway products for uh, different medical imaging application and also different medical device application. And uh, most of our design uh, range around in uh, imaging OR therapeutics. Diagnostics, as well as the, uh, the current trending topic in the AI um, imaging AI diagnostics. So uh, recently, you know, to further service the device efficiency, we have also launched an intelligent imaging AI platform, and it's uh, powered by Intel Xeon processing power with a different combination of a powerful GPU VPU. And then uh, so currently it's being, uh, it's being launched into many different AI development platforms for different medical AI applications. 
So aside from all the different custom built medical device, we also uh, design, uh, develop a series of different uh, healthcare purpose built healthcare IT workflow uh, solution. Yeah, yeah, and uh, basically those are, those uh, devices are designed to be a workflow assistant solution focused on three areas: mobile nursing, telemedicine, as well as uh, patient engagement. So to dig a little bit further into telemedicine, so the purpose of telemedicine in our observation is to extend the reach and the scope of patient, uh, patient care coordination. And so uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, we have received a, a, a humongous increased amount of demand around telemedicine deployment. So overall, in our, uh, based on our current deployment worldwide, it, uh, our deployment categorized into th the following three categories. One, uh, in the within the hospital for tele televisit, uh, our telemedicine turnkey solution are integrated with electronic health record and to enable the, the doctors and uh, enable doctors to, um, to uh, conduct remote tele patient counseling and to enable the tele-ER, tele-ICU workflow. And uh, together with the patient bedside infotainment systems, that's where we were able to increase the patient rounding efficiency. And on the second category is also is for the, uh, for in, within the community where we deploy the teleclinics. And with the online appointment system that's available with the teleclinics. And then, so the way it's set up, is set up with a private teleconsulting room and uh, as well as uh, on-site training practitioner and nurses to actually help conduct different uh, telemedicine examination tools. So that way actually enable patients to be able to see their doctor remotely without having to come into a hospital, which during this pandemic is actually very, help, very helpful to prevent community infection. And as well as the, the last part, which brings back to the patient home as well as long-term care facility. So that's the telecare portion. That's, uh, and uh, on, that part, that part, on that part of the application, we actually provide our uh, turnkey telemedicine solution that's pre-programmed with uh, a range of Bluetooth vital sign measuring device. And, and mostly it's for chronic disease patient um, monitoring as well as a post-surgery recovery follow-up. So in this case, during this pandemic, the chronic, uh, patients with chronic disease, they don't have to suffer in terms of and also exposed to the risk of infection by keep coming back to the hospital. So as a, ba uh, as a basic setup for the uh, telemedicine system, like it's basically controlled by the central um, management council, that's our mobile nursing, uh, all-in-one nursing workstation, uh, powered by the hot swap batteries. And then it's uh, and running our virtual clinical platform. And then on the top, you will see there's the pen tail zoom camera and mostly for uh, all the telecounseling capability. And then depending on the different practice, which some of the most commonly uh, practice that we have deployed are for, for example, dermatology, uh, pediatrics, urgent care, uh, all the way to radiology. So for example, for, um, yeah, so for example, for the, uh, for the pediatrics or primary care, that's where they use multi-purpose examination scope, for, for example, even with an ENT application, as well as the uh, Bluetooth post oximeter, that's where you can, they can take the vital sign management, uh, measurement. And also, uh, along with the most commonly used like you know, digital status scope, which is mostly used in, uh, diff, uh, throughout different medical practices. And for some of the specialty practices, like we also enable the ultrasound uh, probe and EKG you know, to, uh, to allow the doctor, uh, doctor to uh, assess the patient remotely. So overall, um, the benefit of telemedicine here really helps extend, like, you know, extend the, the boundary of the care and also to improve the quality and lower the cost of the care. Especially during this uh, very challenging time, it really helps uh, redu you know, prevent unnecessary hospitalization by protecting the patient and also protecting the healthcare professionals. Yeah, so, um, so later on, we'll be uh, providing additional demo video at the you know, demo video and video demo at our booth. So we welcome any question. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Zhang. And finally, we are going to invite Ms. J. C. Song, Executive Vice President of Blue Science Diagnostics. BlueSense successfully developed the detection system which enables COVID-19 diagnostic test results be obtained within 12 minutes. Ms. Song. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for today and uh, for listening to our presentation. My name is Jessie and I'm representing BlueSense today. 
And as we are speaking now, the global case, sorry. So as we're speaking now, the global case of COVID-19 has now confirmed like more than 3.5 million cases and more than 250,000 of deaths. And currently tests are mainly done by PCR. Uh, due to the outbreak, the health authority now and doctors are believe the reliable serology test is important and urgent. Serology test is the blood test testing COVID-19 IgG IgM. And there are some problems with PCR tests. Some is that the space collect, uh, collection could be affected by personal error. And also the simple collect uh, the sample collecting is actually what cause the person who is doing collecting the sample are at risk of uh, being infected. Currently, the main, uh, two main tests in the market now is PCR test and the antibody test, which we call the serology test. And the beneficiary of doing antibody testing is to identify those who already been immune. This is very important for country that has outbreak. So the SARS tests are suitable for large scale of immunization assessment, while PCR is more suitable for acute cases. So why this is important, why SARS test is important? Because this can help people to understand if they can go back to work. And for many countries such as Europe or United States, cities are locked down and causing, a lot, uh, causing severe economic impact. So understand pandemic, understand how people in reality is infected is very important for restoring the economic, also for tra uh, tracking who is being infected. And during the outbreak, in the beginning of outbreak, there are many companies that has launched, more than 50 companies actually launched the rapid test, those, the rapid test that look like uh, the pregnancy test, the strips test. However, some of them are luck um, the proper clinical validation. Those suboptimal product without proper clinical validation, um, it was just uh, lunch to catch the quick market, but suffering a lot of accuracy problems we can see in medias. Bullsense want to do a different approach. We want to provide laboratory grade result in less than 12 minutes. And the, the advantage of using Bull, uh, of this product point of of care device is first is portable and require only a low sample value, which is just a drop of, a drop of blood. And, prov and also result will be in 12 minutes and provide a quantitative result that is like laboratory grade accuracy. BlueSense is a technology joint venture between Denmark and Taiwan, which develop innovative high accuracy tests Previously, we focused on mosquito-borne disease such as dengue and Zika. We, we believed in good quality and accuracy tests, so we always, our approach is always conduct a extens extensive clinical validation. For dengue, we have more than 3,000 cases clinical, clinical validation and, more in, and conduct in more than 10 countries. So how does this happen? We're using our Dengue, previous dengue platform, and then replace the dengue antigen to COVID-19 antigen. So when, once we receive reagents, we have uh, the product for research use done for in, within three weeks. And last month, we actually did a blind test in one of a Danish hospital, Vertovor. And they give, it's a blind test. They give us 15 samples. 10 of them are PCR positive, 10, and five of them are negative. And, with, and out of 10 positive, we had to take nine out of 10. So this result shows very positive and promising. As a conclusive slide, BlueSense is working very hard. We believe in doing things right. Now we are undergoing a large scale of clinical validation in Europe, and hopefully we will have a result within these two weeks. And in, meanwhile, we actually are preparing for CE mark uh, documentation, and hopefully by the end of month or beginning of next month, we can have a CE marks. And this is my presentation today, and thank you for your time. If you have any question, please uh, you can email us or call us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Miss Song. And now we completed all seven companies' presentations. In addition to the products we just introduced, we have gathered another eight medical pandemic prevention products on site. 
uh, unfortunately, we cannot present all products in detail because of the time constraint. So now we are going to guide you through the products. If you have any queries, please leave your query and contact through our QA system. EQ's Class B BenQ Auto Club. Faster sterilization performance, you can have run the most efficient auto club you can trust. Non contact forehead thermometer and infrared ear thermometer. A well self health management is monitor body temperature regularly. Ear thermometer, easy tiny and handy. Protective coverall isolation gun protect the world in textiles. King Forest SARS-CoV-2 detection kit together we fight the virus. AI infrared thermography management solution prevent the spread of COVID-19 with Advantage video AI solution. Smart medical nursing card solution. The POCN series provide nurses effective patients care against COVID-19. Smallest filterless personal air purifier, healthy air, on the go. Okay, so next. It's the session of Q&A. The staff has selected a few questions. So I will read out the question and invite the related speakers to answer. So now I would like to invite the, all of the speakers. Please come to the front and have a USC together. And would like, I would like to invite the water Ye from Taichung, and the Miss Yu, direct, deputy director from Bureau of Foreign Trade. Would you mind just come to the stage for a QA session together? And all of the speakers, please come to the stage because we are now processing our QA session right now. So we have all of the speakers today on the stage. So now I will pick some of the uh, queries listed in our system and uh, just let the speakers to answer if that question is related to their speech. So the first we got the questions is, since the severe shortage of COVID-related medical products in the global supply chain, how did the Taiwanese public and private sector cooperate on providing this supply sufficiently? I think this one uh, should be go to the Ms. Yu Ming Fang, the Purity Director of Bureau of Foreign Trade. Would you mind sharing your opinions with us? Good afternoon. Uh, my DG Chen uh, has uh, an important meeting, so I'm here to answer your question. Uh, firstly, thanks to the high public awareness on health issue. Uh, Taiwanese people are used to wearing face masks when they are feeling ill and have the habit of saving some stocks just in case. Though well, uh, well prepared in daily lives, we still suffered from a temporary shortage of surg surgical masks and some other medical pr products during the early period of the outbreak. Therefore, to ensure, in, to ensure people get masks at the lowest price possible, we adopt measures like mask export control, requisition of medical masks, and the expansion of pro production lines. We also encounter the problem of obta obtaining sufficient materials for producing medical uh, pro productive clothing. But 
through the Taiwan-U.S. joint statement on a partnership against coronavirus, we are able to procure the materials from the U.S. We are now capable of producing medical, productive clothing and rapid uh, screening reagent. Furthermore, vaccines are under development. We know we can do more than uh, take care of ourselves. We are also helping the rest of the world. As you know, Taiwan can help, and uh, Taiwan is helping. In order to effectively match the strong demands from foreign buyers, Taichua established an anti uh, epidemic section on the Taiwan trade website, which provides information on over uh, 20,000 product items under diagnostic and monitor monitoring products, pharmaceutical and health supp supplements. The website over online and the expert business matching as a one-stop service for foreign buyers. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Ms. Song. And next question, and uh, uh, this one is, what is the idea of the healthcare ecosystem? And could Taiwan share the experience with all countries? I think this one is stated in the Mr. Ye's speech. So I would like to invite Mr. Walter Ye. Would you mind sharing your opinions? Thank you. I would like to share with you that Taitra is established a uh, Pan pandemic prevention product ecosystem, including around one 140 companies from face mask production to uh, vaccines to test kits. All, all the products involved with, uh, with the prevention, with the pandemic prevention. So we introduced these companies to many other countries, we recommend these suppliers to uh, our friends in different countries. And we also, uh, they, most of them already have their uh, FDA or CE certification. So I think this ecosystem can provide assistance to many countries. When you need the suppliers from Taiwan, Taitra can be your partner, we can recommend uh, suppliers in Taiwan. We also mention the uh, hospitals in Taiwan with neither Indian, with Indian hospital. We met, mention, we match the Taiwan Chenggong University Hospital uh, with the Indian hospitals, doctors, medical doctors. So this. Chenggong University doctors share their experience with about the pandemic prevention. So uh, the friends in India can learn this experience from Taiwan's doctors. And we, we are now working on another project to share experience with Indonesia and also Bangladesh, as well as Myanmar. So I hope through this uh, sharing of our know-how, uh, we, we hope we can uh, give some assistance to our friends. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Ye. Actually, in our system, there are a few questions just to go for the uh, reagent. So actually, this one is about the uh, anti-PCR test kit. What is the sensitivity and the uh, accuracy of your test kit? I think this one is for uh, the Madigen. Would you mind just uh, carrying, sharing your opinion with us? Okay, talking about the uh, uh, accuracy, our accuracy rate is uh, higher than 95%. So, but the, the major the major key metric to make to for this product is the sensitivity and the specificity. Just like I mentioned, that for the sensitivity, we can lower to the ten copies per reactions. I think it's quite quite good. And for the uh, uh, specificity, that we have tested many uh, virus, and the evidence showing that there is no any close reacting with the other virus. So all our testing are done in the Changgeng University as well as uh, the Temple University in the U.S. 
Thank you. And also, we have the queries from the Malaysia. Also, is this the same query? How is the sensitivity of your uh, the test kit and uh, accuracy? I think it's Miss Song. The Miss Song, would you mind just sharing your opinions regarding your product? Yeah. So for our point of care product, um, currently we still undergo the the clinical validation. So for the initial clinical validation, now we only test ten. Um, 10 positive case, which we can catch nine. So that's, um, that's so far, that's how we know. And the negative, it's five negatives. So out of five, then we uh, catch the five negative. But um, so far, we're still doing the clinical validation in Italy. And we're waiting for results. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, since we don't have much time, so this is the last question. This is uh, from Malaysia. And um, his question is, UVC light, how effective is it for surface cleaning? And uh, is it suitable for ICUS? I think this is for Madeleine Enterprise about your robot. Yes, many of our hyperlights is being installed uh, globally in the ICU and also operation rooms. So of course, ICU can be installed for uh, disinfection. And how effective? Um, it can uh, terminate the disinfected area in within five minutes in five meters radius range. Thank you, thank you for your sharing. And because of the time constraint, we cannot answer all queries on site, but we will respond to all queries by mail after the event. The press conference has now come to the end, and thank you for your participation. We hope this event has helped provide you a better understanding of more Taiwan prevention products. In the next few weeks, we are going to hold more online conferences like this, and you will more than welcome to join us again. And actually, uh, in our showground, our, all of the products uh, on display for today. So I will let the camera to go, just go through for the showground and to let the company representative on site to introduce their products for you. And thank you for your participation. Thank you very much. 谢谢我们非常谢谢各位今天的参与介绍对不对？用英文，用英文介绍对不对？Okay, uh, we are the COVID-19 uh, real-time PCR detection kit, uh, special designs for this pandemic, and then I think so. Uh, this is a very high sensitivity and uh, high specificity and low limitations of the real-time PCR is less than 10 copy of cell. And then this is a real-time PCR uh, process is only 50 minutes. Uh, we can finish all the real-time PCR from the very uh, complicated uh, step. We make it several steps. We make it optimized into one step. OK, so because in this time, it's a very important for us to know what is the difference within, within the detection kit or in all over the world. In the market, there are three kinds of the uh, detection kit. One is a real-time PCR, the second one, and the third one is a rapid test for uh, virus antigen and for antibody. But real-time PCR is the golden standard based on the CDC and WHO. So uh, we are... We are, we are produced it. This is uh, to, to uh, spatial for the, or over the world. In, in America, we have two customers already use our product. And then they have already uh, got a very good performance. And then they are ongoing to submit to the FDA for UEUA. So soon, uh, after one week more, uh, we can get the UA, FDA, certification and then today after today we have already got uh, CE uh, declaration of conformity 
And our production is uh, manufactured by uh, GMP uh, and ISO 13485 uh, uh, production. Yeah, thank you. Hi, um, just to introduce our masks. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, our masks are made for all cultural backgrounds, whether Asians or uh, Westerners. Uh, we, we support all, um, all cultural backgrounds. For this as an example, in Saudi Arabia, uh, the women use it uh, instead of their, their new caps okay. to cover their faces when they go to the doctors. Yeah, we have our standard, our standard uh, face mask, uh, three-ply face mask with a 3D design just to conform to different facial features and different backgrounds. We also have um, our fragrance masks. We, we added a little bit of fragrance to uh, uh, make uh, the user more comfortable when using it. With, uh, we also have a, a chemically treated uh, mask to make it antiviral because most masks are only antibacterial. So this mask is an antiviral mask. Um, it can kill viruses. Um, we have our N95 masks here. Um, and they're breathable and more comfortable than the regular N95s that are out there. And, and we also have our carbon activated masks to get rid of odors and also to filter out any pollutions and, uh, and, uh, and bacteria also. So as you can see, we have all these different kinds of masks available different designs for different uses, for different backgrounds, different lifestyle, different cultures. Thank you. Hello, uh, this is a, uh, this is a RTQPCR testing kit uh, developed from the Medigen Vaccine Biologic. As you can see, that is uh, we target in two genes. One is the uh, OF1AB and the N gene. Here you can see that in this in this box we have uh, uh, this one is uh, uh, OF1AB gene, and the other one is the N gene. And we also have this uh, positive control and the negative control. So it's quite easy for you to use in the uh, RTQPCR machine. And we are capable with the Roche API and the Biogene. Uh, this kind of a uh, machine, right? Currently, maybe the laboratory is uh, widely used. So, the, all the testing in the PCR process is taking around uh, 18 minutes. So, it's easy for you to get the uh, a result to showing that this patient is positive or negative. So, all, overall, one box, one box is uh, 50 reactions. So, it's, it's also easy for you in the laboratory to use. Okay, my re here is our product presentation. Yes, thank you. Hello. Hi, so I uh, just want to kind of take a close uh, close look at the telemedicine solution that we were just presenting. So right now over here, this is a live teleconsulting session, and then you can see all the different peripheral that's on there, for example, the post oximeter that's being integrated. So the doctor, physician, and, and patient, they can be at the same screen and doing a joint console at the same time. And keep in mind, everything we design here is a uh, UL EN6061 certified, and also antimicrobial and infection control and Corox, uh, Corox certified. So you can use bleach wipe to wipe down our units and disinfect it without any problems. So, and then, so yeah, so this is all the different peripheral that's enabled different practice. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Titus. Uh, we represent Luf Chi and we are doing a small air, personal air purifier. Actually, we are using uh, photocatalysts to uh, decompose and decompose organic vapor in the air and also virus and mold bacteria, something like that. So we designed a very uh, small, cute product which can put beside people and when they are sleeping, put it beside the cabinet and also driving, put it in the car, and also when you're working, put it beside you. So this is, a, we want to create a personal air uh, shade to protect everyone, especially in the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you very much. And uh, we are launching our product already and made in Taiwan. 
uh, we are delivered to 50 countries in the world. Once again, uh, hope everyone stay healthy and goodbye. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I'm, I'm happy to be here to make a presentation of our new medical panel PC for all the customers from the global market. Here you can see this is our POCM series. This is a medical panel PC with three hot swabble batteries. And also, we have already designed all the necessary software inside. As you can see here, we have all the indicators to help to enhance the working efficiency of the nurses. And, and here you can see our uh, docking station. As you can see here, uh, everything will be very tight and neat, which will help the nurses to, to complete their cleaning work uh, more easily. Okay. And we help uh, by the use of our medical product, we would like to help all the medical personnel to work uh, more smart and help them to overcome the deep impact ca caused by the COVID-19. And we wish everybody stay healthy and be strong. QSCC ear thermometer uh, is very uh, particularly perfect for home users, especially for kids and toddlers. Toddlers, and also we have very uh, quick temperature reading. It only takes around one point uh, one point two seconds, and uh, we have a pri uh, we have high precision. Uh, plus and minus 0 0.1 degrees. Like our product slogan shows, QSCC ear thermometer is uh, easy, uh, tiny, and handy. OK. Uh, we are Radiant. Uh, we can help you do well in self-management. Monitor your body uh, temperature regular. Uh, this is a lung contact forehead thermometer, and uh, we can. This is a uh, has a uh, blue back line. One second measurement, and uh, the blue LED light help you reading in the night, and it's very quickly. Just one uh, one second measurement, and uh, this is a uh, ear thermometer for hospital use. Uh, this has a. Uh, Ejector help you the uh, product cover to replace and special for hospital use. Uh, durable proper for 100,000 times in proper cover replacement. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Jesse. So this is our point of care device, and. It's uh, three kilometer, uh, three kg, sorry, three kg. And this is the detection cartridge that we used for detecting COVID-19 serology tests, IgG, IgM tests. So the advantage of this product is it's portable and it's um, it very easy to use. So it's a uh, it, non-professional user can use them. And it actually shows, uh, it's able to show quantitative results. So within 12 minutes, you will have quantitative results that display in the monitors. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, uh, this is uh, Apex Medical Corporation. We have major two product lines. Uh, first one is a medical air mattress. That uh, is... Uh, it's a, a very uh, important device for the people who are lying on the bed for a long time. For instance, like this time, uh, many COVID-19 patients, they lying on the bed for a long time, they are bedridden, and they also might be a, a stroke patient or elder patient or uh, with diabetes. So it's a very important uh, device for them. It's an important device for them to prevent from pressure injury. Another section is our uh, CPAP. And CPAP is uh, for, uh, to, uh, to, to treat uh, obstructive uh, OSA, to treat OSA. 
Yes. Uh, there are major two sections of our company. Okay. Hello, dear, dear viewers. Uh, so we are Asiatic Fiber Corporation, and we are a company that specializes in functional and technical textiles. So during this pandemic, we actually produce our, introduce our disposable and reusable protective gown and isolation gown. So here we know that the disposable gown here actually has quite some issues. First is the sor serious shortage, and second is the environmental problem that it brings with it. So what do we do? So in this case, we produce our uh, reusable protective gown and isolation gown using our medical and surgical fabric that confirms to European and American standards. Uh, so we hope that this fabrics, uh, this isolation gown could actually serve the frontliners, the frontline heroes that actually guard, uh, protect us from this uh, pandemic. Hello everyone, so my name is Moayed and I come from Advantech. Oh. Okay, here comes the camera. Let's start again. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Moayet from Advantech. Uh, today we are going to introduce you uh, is the latest technology which we combine with our AI facial recognition with a thermographic camera. As you may know that Advantech is focusing the industrial computing and also the healthcare IT. Since 1983, we have done the OEM service for many equipment manufacturers, such as GE, Philips, Schreiger, and Richard Wolff. So today when you go to a hospital, such as the ICU room or the patient ward, you can always find Advantech solutions. This time, we demonstrate our latest technology using our AI facial recognition and also the thermography temperature, which can support the hospital or the enterprise to pass this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Why? As you can see, when you enter the enterprise or you enter the space, you can see the face. And our AI facial recognition will detect where the face is and then detect the temperature of each person who enters this environment. So it can be also used in the enterprise that to uh, monitor the employee's temperature and also to monitor the visitor's temperature. So in this case, Advantech and the enterprise or the hospital can turn together to monitor every patient and the people who visit the hospital or every environment to pass this time. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Crystal from GGM, and this is the high flow therapy device, which is used in uh, mild and moderate patients in COVID-19. And this is this device goes with a very broad um, nasal cannula, so the patient can eat, drink, and talk during the therapy. This is a very um, comfortable therapy. And also, we are now designing a helmet to um, prevent the um, the 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 duration of the virus to go in the room air to infect like the patients. So um, now we are having a helmet under design and it could go into mass manufacturing in a month. And the device is a very simple device. So it goes with a oxygen supply and it creates over 70 liters of flow. So this is our device, and we hope that the device could help, and um, thank you for your time. Hello, buyers from all over the world. This is Texier Industry. We are the professional manufacturer of the autoclave. Uh, this is our product here. This is the highest... Uh, Sterilization standard class B product with merely 15 minutes. We will finish one sterilization cycle. It's easy to handle. You can, as you can see here, we have the touch touch screen uh, control panel. 
and we have pre-programmed 15 different modes. So it's easy to use and it's quick and it's higher standard of quality that you can trust. Uh, we are looking for distributors from all over the world for our brand equals. Also, we welcome all the contract manufacturer uh, partners who are interested in distribute our product all through all over the world. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello, many of you might have questions about whether UVC is able to terminate coronavirus. Yes, there's a clinical study proven that UVC is able to terminate coronavirus. And please let me go through each details of hyperlight. Hyperlight goes with Amagon lamps. The lamp life lasts 12,000 hours. And after 12,000 hours, it only uh, reduces efficacy 10%. And the reflective coating able to enhance the UVC power dosage delivered to the target surface area. And the LED indicator on the top shows how the, uh, the status of the hyperlight. And it also comes with um, PIR sensors that are able to sense the human body heat and also movement. So if anybody enter into the rooms uh, without notice of UVC operating, uh, the hyperlight will shut down itself to protect the exposure to human. And also there's an emergency stop at the base of the hyperlight that can be uh, stopped at any time. And the package of Hyperlight comes up with seven inch tablets, uh, warning sign, and Hyperlight. Thank you. Okay, once again, here comes the end of the conference. Now we have reviewed all of the products on, on site. So if you have any queries, please do not forget to submit your questions in our system. We will respond to you directly. Now I would like to say goodbye to you. Please stay home and stay safe. And everyone, let's say goodbye to our viewers. Bye-bye. Okay.